Hi Pisces, welcome to Loveful Tarot. My name is David and today we're going to be doing a general reading for those of you who are looking for any messages and guidance in your general life. We're going to start off with one card from the Moonology Oracle deck and then we're going to do nine cards from the Jumbo Rider Weight deck plus one card at the bottom of the deck for advice. All right Pisces, let's begin with your reading. I'm going to shuffle a little bit more so you know there's no shady business going on. Let's figure out what messages we have. What does the universe have in store for you, Pisces? So, what do you need to know for the rest of February? I'm going to cut the deck and we're going to choose. All right, let's see what's up for you, Pisces. Ugh, we're stuck. Okay, look at the bigger picture, full moon in Sagittarius. Look at the bigger picture. Well, how does that apply to you? Well... Does it mean that you're not seeing the bigger picture here? Some of you have tunnel vision. You're only seeing what you want to see. Take a step back. See the bigger picture. So what scenario are you going through right now? What do you need to know? Let's figure out for you, okay? Pisces. I've done a pre-shuffle, guys, so I'm just going to do a little bit more here. And we'll cut the deck, okay? So, three cards for your past. Let's begin. First card out of the deck. We have the Knight of Wands in reverse. Next card. We have the Two of Cups. Okay. And lastly, we have the Queen of Pentacles. All right, Pisces. So, in the past, you have definitely been... Uh, struggling with moving forward towards a situation, there could be uh, some sort of delays for you that you've uh, encountered. You wanted to do something. This could be in regards to uh, your career, your job, or relationships. But something you wanted to do either was canceled or delayed and you had issues moving forward in that sense, okay? Some action was needed to be taken, but it wasn't taken or there were setbacks. Now, we do have the Two of Cups here, so this could be a union between two people. It could be you in a relationship. This could be romantic, but this could also be a union between you and some other individual. It could be a co-worker that you're bonding with. It could be a manager that you're bonding with. It could be also someone in your family that you're connecting with really well right now, okay? And you guys are definitely in your zones, okay? You appreciate each other, and there's definitely an equal give and take here, okay? This is a really good friendship or union. So some of you Pisces can have someone close to you that means a lot to you, that's giving you a lot of support right now. Whatever it is you're going through, okay? We have the Queen of Pentacles, so there could also be an Earth sign here involved. Don't forget the Knight of Wands can also be a fire sign. So we have here Leo Sagittarius Aries, then we have Taurus Virgo Capricorn, okay? Queen of Pentacles can also be an energy of nurture. So I see it as definitely uh, this union between you and this other individual is definitely a nurturing one where you both give each other a lot and you both like to have stability and you both enjoy the material world and you also both enjoy each other's company and you take care of each other and there's a lot of respect and mutual bond between the two of you. This is definitely starting to look like a romantic reading, but let's take a look more and see what's in your present energy to see what's going on for you, okay? So, let's go into your present energy. Let's see, Pisces. We have here the Two of Swords in reverse. Next card. We have the King of Pentacles in reverse, okay? And lastly, we have the Ace of Swords, okay? So Pisces, right now you could be faced with a decision that you need to make. This is something that is way, has weighed on you for a while now and you are having issues coming to terms with making a choice here. This may be a difficult choice, but it also could be a choice that you're delaying uh, on purpose because you don't want to go through uh, the repercussions of making the wrong choice, okay? In this scenario, you could be completely clouded by uh, your emotions are not really connected anymore. You feel disconnected from this situation. You don't want to deal with it, but you know that there is a choice that needs to be made. If this is in regards to a love interest, maybe things 
are starting to get serious and you're now figuring out whether or not you need to move forward or whether or not you're still in a different energy for yourself, okay? The King of Pentacles can be a person you're dealing with. Same thing could be another Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn again. Same with the Queen. But this could also be your energy. And this, I would say, is your more of your energy. You're making a choice based on what this person does for a living. Or it could be based on how stable they bring, what stability they do bring to the relationship. Maybe there's issues with money. Maybe there's issues with someone in uh, the family someone uh, in an upper level like a father figure or a grandparent or someone intervening that's causing these issues okay some of you if this is work you could be dealing with making a decision and your boss is giving you a hard time your boss is making it difficult maybe your boss isn't giving you that raise maybe you want to leave the job maybe you want to go to a new position some of you may be thinking about moving as well but there's not enough finances to do so okay Whatever it is, the Ace of Swords is coming about for you right now. So some of you have some sort of new idea or truth or something, information that's coming towards you is going to bring you a new direction that's going to take you past this part of making a decision. Perhaps you finally do make that decision here with the Ace of Swords, okay? Or someone helps you with that decision for sure. Let's take a look at what this decision is about. Let's go into the future energy for you, Pisces, and see what's coming up for you, okay? all right so we have the five of swords next card we have the nine of cups all right amazing and lastly we have the ace of wands two aces so remember let's go back to this look at the bigger picture well you're definitely going to be having some sort of conflict this could be with a partner or people at work what is it? Is it petty? You have to realize that if something is not feeling right, sometimes when we communicate or we try to, you know, be better than others, our ego gets in the way. And, you know, these are fights that aren't really going to be any uh, advantage to you. You may win it, but it may not be. It may be superficial win. OK, I think deep down inside, a lot of you need to reach. Uh, you already know who you are and you already have your value and you know what you're worth. And you're definitely content emotionally with yourself, okay? So when you look at the bigger picture, these petty little fights and these comp like things, that, issues we have with uh, being competitive with others, whether it's a relationship, family members, or jealousy, these things aren't really worth your time because you have it all already. You do have it all, Pisces. And people love you. And you're very well respected. And you're someone that people really highly are uh, you got this aura that people are attached to okay and you know that about yourself so you don't need to come uh, or try to win these little petty fights and uh, you know feed your ego because your ego is good okay now we do have the ace of wands so there will be something coming up for you where you're going to be taking up a new challenge some of you may be taking up a new sport or hobby or it could be a new career change for you or a new job opportunity promotion even perhaps but it's something moving forward into something new that's going to start for you that's going to be very interesting okay so when you look at the bigger picture here things are moving forward for you okay you have unions you have partnerships here you have uh, information that's going to be given to you that's going to propel you forward okay now whether or not we have these little conflicts sure they're going to be there but remember that look at the bigger picture you have everything that you need right now, okay? Let's take a look at the advice card at the bottom of the deck for you, Pisces. Just to get one more advice here for you, we have the King of Swords in reverse. So a lot of you may be feeling like you are not good enough or you're not, people don't respect you or there could be uh, people out there that put you down and try to manipulate you and try to control you. But this is where you again, you have to weigh out the options here and see what's good for you, okay? So if it's someone that you need to avoid, yes, stop being controlled by others, stop being manipulated by others. Make sure the information you receive from people is uh, checked by others because you know you don't want rumors spread about you as well. There could be a lot of negativity coming from an individual also. Uh, this could be even your energy, okay, Pisces? 
uh, you need to stay out of that zone. You need to uh, be a little less analytical in this sense and try to uh, really take in your emotions and uh, try to approach things with more uh, love and uh, empathy for others, okay? All right, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, there'll be other readings soon, so don't forget to like and subscribe and hit notifications for future updates. I really appreciate you being here. Thanks for joining me, and bye for now.